It says, <clears throat> And when Jesus was coming to Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother laid and sick of a fever, and he touched her hand, and the fever left her. Now, if you read another uh, gospel, it says he rebuked the fever. Okay? So he spoke to the fever. And she arose and ministered unto them. And when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out these spirits with his word. Not with a gift, not with an anointing, with his word. You got that? See, here's the thing. When you have the Holy Spirit living in you, and you, okay, the Spirit of God comes upon you. He settles into you. He's in you. In your spirit, you're joined as one. As you speak, it is infused with the Spirit of God Himself. And whatever power is needed to cause what you speak to come to pass is infused into your words to bring it to pass because that's what Jesus did. Do you get that? So it's not about you. It's about the fact that His Spirit dwells in you and now you are one. And he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit with the Lord. So if you say it, guess what? The Holy Spirit's going to repeat it. He's going to say, you say it, then he says it. When he says it, it's with power. Why? Because it's coming out of you, but you've got to do your part. And when you become a doer of the word, then he can become the paraclete, the helper, that helps you accomplish what the word says. Amen? But if you don't speak, he can't help. If you don't lay hands, he can't help. But now notice, notice how, and, and this is the real key to this. Jesus didn't say, uh, leper or uh, servant be healed. Why? Because he didn't have to. It, it's, it's, it was his intention. It's who he was. It's how he did things. It's, it was freely. It was easy. He didn't have to do it a certain way. See, the problem with most people is they want a formula. They want, which a formula, another word for formula in spiritual things is incantation. And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to invoke God. You're trying to cause an incantation to call it. Okay, if you want to take it even further, some people would even call it a spell. And that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about you. Uh, now the Holy Spirit is so infused in you that he is part of you. And when you speak, he speaks. Why? Because whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. You get it? So it's all you're one. You can't move without him moving, right? He, by the same token, he can't move without you moving. Well, we're waiting on a move of God. Yeah, and the move of God is waiting on you to move. It's real simple. You start doing what the Word of God says, you'll be amazed at what will happen.